Hey guys, I want to show you my new Asus ML248 LED monitor. Um, I bought it from Umart in Australia for $229, which is um, a pretty reasonable price um, for, a, um, for an LED monitor bought in Australia. Um, I will quickly um, show you, uh, show you um, what the monitor looks like. Um, we have the Asus logo on the left here. And um, we have um, touch sensitive buttons, so we obviously have the power button uh, and we have the input button here to switch between VGA and HDMI. Uh, by default this monitor, or it comes with a HDMI to DVI cable which I'm using now. Um, and we have the menu and you know these options can be used to navigate up and down the menu and change contrast etc. So this is um, what the menu looks like. Um, I won't bore you and um, you know go through all of the options in detail. Though so, um, I will quickly open that up again, and you can quickly have a look at the options there. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. So how do I exit out of that? Yeah. So that's pretty much um, what the front of it looks like, um, and it. Is also um, able to swivel the monitor. It swivels on the stand. Um, I was originally going to do an unboxing video. Um, however, um, however, it turned out to be a lot more difficult to um, assemble than I originally expected. So we have the Asus logo on the back here. Um, as you can see, it is a very thin profile. And I'm not sure if this is the design or um, a speaker. I'm pretty sure it's just um, the design going around it. Um, I haven't checked whether or not it has um, built-in sound yet. Though um, I had to um, look at the instructions to figure out how to put the stand together. Um, so we have um, the um, power cable here. Um, you have a bit of a small brick. Um, you know, it's not a big deal though. You do have a small brick with this monitor. Um, we have the VGA port, this is the HDMI to DVI cable and um, we have a headphone um, jack there, or it appears to be a headphone jack. So let's spin it back around. Um, and I would also like to um, point out, I had a bit of an issue when I first um, connected the monitor. Um, it wasn't taking up the full um, screen. It was sort of like in the middle, I will show you in a second. Though what I did to um, fix this problem where the image doesn't um, display across the whole screen, I had to download um, the AMD Catalyst display driver for my graphic card. And you might have to download an updated driver or control center um, for your graphic card if it's not covering the whole screen or you may already have it installed. So I installed the um, Catalyst software suite. Um, and to see if I right click the desktop it says um, Catalyst Control Center, I'm not sure if you can see that. And it opens up here and in the menu I believe I had to click on my digital flat panels and scaling options. When I first got the monitor it was set to um, that option. So if I um, go out a bit here, you can see it's not taking up the whole monitor. That's what it was like when I first plugged it in. Though um, when I changed um, the overscan to 0%, um, it perfectly um, fits the whole monitor. So um, if you're having this um, problem, then this is basically how you um, solve it. Um, I am now going to um, play a full HD video on YouTube for you, or just a little bit of one. And this is a very popular animation, Big Buck Bunny animation. I don't own the copyrights to this. I believe the Blender Foundation does. Uh, yep, it's copyright the Blender Foundation. I'm just going to show you in full screen to give you an idea of um, the quality of the monitor. Although it might not um, come across um, on this camera. It probably doesn't really come across on this camera, though it looks um, very nice. Um, it looks a lot better than um, it how it did on my um, Asus um, LCD display. Uh, I'm not sure the monitor doesn't appear to have built-in volume. 
I will just um, fast forward a bit and see if it has built-in volume though it doesn't appear to um, I believe this is because I'm using a HDMI to DVI cable though if you use um, just a HDMI cable you will probably um, get the volume Though overall it's a good monitor, I'm pretty happy with it, um, even though I had initial um, teething problems. Well, it took a little longer to get set up than I expected, though I don't regret buying it and I highly recommend that you get it. Um, you know, it's good value for money, it's got a good picture. Some people don't like the touch um, sensitive buttons. Um, it, it's okay once you get used to it. Like, it um, sort of hides the names of all of the menus after a while. Though once you know where everything is and the lead goes off, um, it's not such a um, big problem. Though, um, yeah, I highly recommend um, that you check out this monitor, um, you know, at your local, um, you know, tech store, like Dick Smith in Australia or something like that. And I'm sure you will love it and it's good value for money. Thanks for watching.